Hi, and welcome to another episode of Type with Me. In this episode, I will talk about a TypeScript tool, TSTX. It's a great tool to get you started with a new project for uh, TypeScript. And I hope this will help you to avoid uh, afternoons looking into the ideal configuration. And uh, this tool will help you along to set up a great start of a new TypeScript project. So for that, we can go to GitHub and then you will see that we have here TSDX, zero config CLI for TypeScript package development. And that's great, right? If you want to create a new package within TypeScript, this will help you to set it up uh, immediately uh, right. And we're going to try this out in this episode. Follow me. Imagine we want to create a library called some type, then we can do mpx tsdx create some type, right? So let's do that. This will fetch all the metadata from npm, right? To execute tsdx and create our project some type some type will be a very easy going uh, library but again when you want to focus on creating your library getting your library out this is a really awesome tool to get you started seems like it has a lot of packages needed so it takes a while but okay it's like i said before it's great to have this kind of tools to help us in the long run and to save us a lot of time right so here we can choose a template so we can choose react or basic so if you want to start a typescript project with react you can do so but we're gonna choose basic because I just want to do basic um, TypeScript uh, or create a basic TypeScript library. And now it will of course install all the NPM modules that the package need. In this case, we will have Jest as our testing framework, Husky, Prettier, pretty quick to make our code a little bit prettier right <laughs> it will it will uh, install tsdx it will install tslip and typescript of course this also takes a while to do so so let me come back when this is finished so when this is finished you get some extra information like to start developing you need to do yarn start to build for production you need to do yarn build and to test your library with jest you need to do yarn test right so when we go to our project you will see that we have here our source folder which has an index.ts right and this already has some code to some a and a b number and it will say that when we are in development he will do console.log boop and then you will just do a return of a plus b right also here we have a test and this will test our sum method right so when we go for example to cd sum type and we do then yarn test It will execute our test that's been defined right here. And all right, it works. We get one test that's been passed. 
That's awesome, right? Great. So that's that. Maybe another thing that I want to show you is uh, creating our React project. So React project. So again, we do the SDX, create React project to show you a little bit how that has been working. And you will fetch a lot of other things. I will come back to that when this has been finished, right? So now we have um, the, cho the, the choice to choose a template and we choose now React, of course. So it will create our project and it will install a lot of extra dependencies that we didn't install on our previous project, right? So of course this will also take a while. So great, project has been created. And here we have our React, React project where we have here, for example, our index.tsx. So now you can start writing your uh, React project within TypeScript. Everything is already being predefined for you. So this will help you get yourself started with TypeScript and React, which is also a very great thing, right? So I recommend to check this tool out to uh, start using it and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time.